Well, here's Bumble, he wanted to say hello, and here's Dawnbreaker. She's a 48 foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 1999 by Pedigree Boat Builders. She's in need of a little TLC actually, she's been neglected for probably six, eight months. Um, but we've priced her with that in mind, and she could make a lovely little boat for somebody. We're a bit sketchy on some of the detail. The owner uh, is uncontactable, but we'll do our best as we go through the boat. She's propelled by a Beta BV1505. We'll see that a little bit later. There's Bumble going in to check everything's all right for me. There's a small solar panel on the roof, that's 300 and, no it's not, 40 watts we believe. That's got a Victron MPPT solar controller. Good size well deck there, 5 feet long. The gas bottles, there's 3 of them, 13 kilos in the forward locker there. Nice glazed front doors. And in we go. The saloon itself is 10 feet 4 inches long. There's a two-seater sofa in here. Three radiators, four radiators on board actually. The central heating systems are an Aldi gas boiler. Good size radiators actually. There's a little TV DVD combo in there. A little storage cupboard underneath it. The water tank's under the front deck, it's a flexible bladder tank. About 640 litres. And there's a little stove in the corner, a solid fuel stove. That's an Olympian Elf. Here's a breakfast bar. There's one stool there. And there's a view down to the saloon. Head height on the board, while I think of it, six foot three. And the galley's behind the saloon. Six foot eight inches long. There's a side hatch there with steps. Little cupboard under the gunnels here. She's a really sweet little boat. She can make somebody a lovely home. Cooking, the, uh, there's a four burner gas hob. That's a vanette. The oven and grill are both vanettes. There's a very good sized cupboard under here. Bumble's just got to check that. And the fridge itself is a Shoreline 12 volt fridge. There is an ice box in there as well. Worktops. A grey laminate and there's some useful utensil hanging things over there. In here's a larder cupboard, pulley outy larder cupboard, floor to ceiling, so it's very good space there. And that's the view down the galley. Very light boat actually, there are eight bus style hopper opening windows on board. Down the corridor on the starboard side into the bathroom. The loo itself is a Thetford 365 porter potty. There's a curtain shower cubicle here. Quite handy in the middle of the boat, these shower cubicles, you get better head height. Radiator there, and there's a wash basin there. Little cupboard underneath it. There we go. That's been checked and signed off by Bumble. Some little shelves behind the door here as well. In the bedrooms towards the stern of the boat, storage under, the bed itself, six foot four inches long, four feet wide. It'll be taller than four feet wide, you can hang your feet over the end actually. Cupboards over, a couple of reading lights under the cupboard there. And at the foot of the bed's a really good storage area. It's currently kitted out as shelves, I'm sure if you wanted a Decent sized wardrobe, they could come out. Split doors as well. And then sh uh, shelves on the other side and a little cupboard underneath those. Into the stern cabin. The engine's under the boards here, we'll have a look at that in a minute. There's a couple of little inverters in here. One's a 350 watt inverter and the other one's a 1500 watt. There's a Sterling Pro budget battery charger. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. The engine's in here. It's a beta. Not sure of the hours. Gearbox is a PRM 150D2. And it's worth mentioning, actually, there's an Axiom propeller fitted to this boat. 
a very good couple of portholes in the back of the boat here. So have another walk through. The bedroom, I don't think I mentioned the size, 8 feet 8 inches long. The bathroom was 5 feet. Stern deck was 3 feet 2 inches long. It's got four anodes on her. The last service recorded service was June 2015, but we're assuming it's been done since then. And there's a bank of two domestic batteries on board, 150 amp hours each and one starter. Lighting's a mix of LED and halogen. So there we are, that is Dawnbreaker. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.